Frank, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Mate, I'm buzzing. I've actually got you on this. Thanks. I'm buzzing. You agreed to it. I got this ask. I know. See? Do you know what? Testament to the what? The ask the question. I suppose. Um, how have you been? How's life? Good. It's all good now. Yeah. Aye. Happy in my life and happy in what I'm doing. Yeah. It's You're good. looking well, mate. You've been holiday. No, yeah. I'm going away next week. Nice. Aye. Sun couple, of sun, couple of sunbeds because <laughs> all ginger, I get burnt when I go to the sun. <laughs> so I need a sunbed. <laughs> so we'll look at your, we'll look back at your career, <clears throat> which is a mental career. Mm -hmm. When you look at it start to finish, and obviously I probably only seen about 20% of it. Mm -hmm. you, you do your research, you're, you're smiling, you know, Aye. that's about 20% of it. Um, did you always want to be a football player, seeing no. you were at school now? No. What did you want to do? Um, Probably nothing. Um, long distance lorry driver, I've Aye. thought, but I didn't realise that I don't like driving that much. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that time, you know, it was uh, easy. Don't I didn't think when I was at school. I played football mm -hmm. when I was at primary school. Um, <clears throat> I was tiny, and um, I knew the teacher that was running the football teams and all that, and she wouldn't let me play because I was too wee. <laughs> it was a woman, and and uh, and then I was playing. My couple of boys and, and one of the teachers says, You better go and have a look, apparently. And so she came and had a look, but she put me into it. I was playing with my brother's team, right? Which is two years older than me. So I played with them. And uh and it's the only times they ever won the cup. They, they won the league and the cup. Right. So and um and that was only the only time I've ever won anything, you know. So <laughs> so it was great, but I got carried away and we played this team and that again a rock with one of the boys and my dad wasn't happy and right. You know, you can't do that football, so I could just, but I used to, I was a big Celtic supporter, Aye. you know, I used to go home and away, mm -hmm. so I never bothered about football, you know, right. I used to play, where I used to bid, when I come from in the mountain, mm -hmm. there was a school called, Deaf and Dumb School, we called it, I don't right. know what it's called, it was, it was for the handicapped kids, you know, right. and we used to all climb over the fence and play in the gravel, mm -hmm. you know, it was red ash, Aye. and I suppose that's where I learned how to play football, because, you know, it's like the older boys, <laughs> 10 or 20 aside, not that, you know. And if you, license. if you don't control that ball, and, and the pitch wasn't rolled, no. so the ball was bouncing around the place. And if you didn't control it, the old boys just come through you. Aye. So um, I suppose that's where I learned how to play football. So that was that was where I got my, because everyone's going, how'd you get a touch? And that, that was it. You didn't Necessity. Get, you didn't want to get kicked. <laughs> yeah, it was, I had to learn quick. But I said, do you know, a lot of people I speak to that, Come for that generation. It was you were always playing with people that were older than you. It Aye. was never a you were never playing with all your same age group. It was no. always boys that were older that would smash you, Aye. that would get you a bollocking if you didn't do well, something. I'm, I'm, Douglas was from for Milton. Well, he, right. he was born in Govan, but he lived with his gran and granddad in, in Milton. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he's all he's all there. And I know our boys were saying, "No, nah, we never gave him a game. We used to put him in goal." <laughs> <laughs> so, you, know, you just imagine Kenny and right, in goal, you know, getting a cock of a hen. Aye, <laughs> yeah, you sitting on the bench today. Toss a coin, <laughs> aye. Can watch. Get, aye. So it's one of them. So when did you realise it, it was potentially <clears throat> a career path for you? It was, it was, it was late on. Right. I was, um, I was nearly 19. Mm -hmm. And my dad let me, I used to go to games, my dad, right. And, uh, and then uh, my dad let me go in the morning. I always wanted to go in the jungle. Right. So he, me and the Celtic end, they used to let me go in the jungle as long as I was back 15 minutes before the end and all right. that kind of stuff. So, and then when I got to 18, they let me go more and go my pals. And um, one of the games we were going to, it was cancelled. Mm -hmm. And it water all pitch or something. So right. I just walked through town and and some of my pals from Malton were there. And they remember the old, I don't know if you remember younger, but the old Apollo, that's where the rock bands used to play. Right. And the amateur teams used to meet up at the top of West Nail Street, I think it is, or up that way. And uh, anyway, some of the boys I said, come and have a game. Come, I was unemployed in Aye. Fiverr. And I was going around to the bookies to see if I could win some money and get my <laughs> pals. And uh, that's how it happened. And the manager says, a couple of boys have not turned up. Right. You know, come and have a game. I'll get you a couple of beers after. And I thought, fuck out to me. Aye. So I went away to Cutton Tullock. And as you can imagine, I'm just there having a laugh with my pal. Aye. And all my mates in the dressing room. Aye. And I got to play the game. Nobody told me that there was five scouts watching the boy I was playing against. So... I don't know what happened to him, but <laughs> 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 I took, I took, my life took a wee turn that day, and that was it. That's so, mental, but for aye. a game that was cancelled to that, that was it. So um, there was a couple of professional clubs we might go on trial, and mm -hmm. and uh, 
two junior clubs, one of the junior clubs was Brown, Johnson Borough, just to say Paisley, mm-hmm. big grab, big, beautiful grass pitch. Mm-hmm. And uh, and they were saying to me, look, come and sign for us, you know that, we've got a big grass, right. you know, and, and we'll still like to go and travel with professional clubs. And, right. and basically, what they came down to, they gave me 500 quid. Right. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> It's a lot of money. It was a lot of money and it was cash, you know, uh, it was cash, Morton Boy cash. <laughs> so, so it was, uh, you know, just in case they uh, changed their mind during the weekend. So I got it that <laughs> night. So it was, um, and I signed for them and I didn't realise why they would give me five on a cut because they would, they would have sold me on to win a club. So they'd have probably got about five grand off some money or something like that when I eventually signed for some money. So I didn't realise, but it was good. It was great. It was played at Johnson Borough and, you know, juniors again. Aye. Playing against, you know, they, they don't have, they don't take any prisoners. Wasn't they hiding places no, on juniors? No, it's, uh, it was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I loved it. Mm-hmm. I loved playing for Johnson Borough. They were in the top division all that time, mm-hmm. so it was good. Um, well, I, I, I loved it. Still pals with the boy I played up front, mate. Johnson Borough, Ian McLeod. he have been a couple of my weddings. I've been a few of his, so it's been all right. <laughs> Did you see it going higher at that point, or were you just happy oh, playing? Oh, no, I knew. I knew then. I was going to trial. I went trial with this will, right. you know, God rest him, Bertie. Bertie was a manager. Mm-hmm. And he, he, you know, he was, I was so skinny, girl. I was, like, I was like, it's one vest a match. <laughs> you know, I was, like, I was waiting in ginger hair. Like, I was waiting for somebody to strike me. <laughs> was, uh, but it was one of them, and he, he didn't take me serious, and, and he put me on his sub and took me off, and I was like, hey, yes. And he said to, and I played half a game, and, I, and he says, you, that's it. He says, you, you know, you'll never make it senior football. <laughs> After I just 40 I, odd minutes. I says, is that right? And he went, aye. I says, how come I think I'm better than every one of your team? And, uh, and that was it. That was the moment. You know, they get a, a moment, aye. Um, some epiphany or whatever you call it. Aye. That was my moment. I thought, I'm going to make it in football. No, Just because he'd said that. Aye, aye. Well, I knew I was, I knew I was all right. I knew I was good enough by that time because aye. I was playing junior was, and I was starting to grow it, you know, mm-hmm. and, and I knew I could make it. So, um, And I went to some mum. In trial, and I get two trials with him, and then my third trial, he played me in the Renfrewshire Cup final. Right. Jim Clooney was it signed me. And he, he played me in the Renfrewshire Cup final as a trialist. And I'm playing in midfield. Right. And I, I get sent off. <laughs> me, and the, me and the boy in midfield with Morton. It was more against Morton, so right. it was a big down, a big crowd there. What a rival right and, there. Uh, and I get sent off, and, and I thought I'd blown it. Aye. Because you know, I had two good games as a trialist, so... Mm-hmm. And he, he took me upstairs after the game and, and he says, I want to help for your contract. And I went, I just get sent on. He says, I knew you had the, the ability. I didn't know you had aye. the ball. So Were you it. expecting him to say, aye, no, aye, but, aye, I couldn't handle that. But, aye. but he, it, it, worked, it worked wonders because he says, well, I know you've got a bottle now to do it. So, you know, because it was like an older boy that was asked in a scrape way, so it was all right. Aye. It was uh, it's just like Morton again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's if I, I suppose he playing that street football, it gets mm-hmm. you used to all the, of course, the course. situations. Ah, you get you grow up fairly quickly. I don't see many skin boys coming through now. Nah. With football. It's uh, and it's a shame because there's a lot of talent getting, getting wasted. You know, there's a lot of talent out there. And I, I can't believe it. I think football at the moment. You know, I'm 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 enjoying Celtic at the moment because I've mm-hmm. got these boys coming over for Japan and they're wonderful. And they don't know they're sideways and passing backwards aye. and all. They don't know that. Aye. So they're just firing forward. Mm-hmm. And I love watching that. You know, mm-hmm. there's too many coaches now just pass sideways and backwards. And, oh, just ruin the game. Don't really you know? get a lot of you know, you, they, they take they flare it, players. No, they take it out of them, don't they? They take aye. it out of them. You know, so I, I don't, you know, I, I love boys. When was the last time we seen a winger getting down crossing the ball? I mean, I don't, no, I don't understand why they don't because you're never just got a goal out there. You know, you get in the box, you know. So uh, yeah, that's um, so that's what I've done. I, I I played when I signed for St. Man. Mm-hmm. I was lucky, Gary, because I wasn't ready. That <laughs> Jim Clooney never even seen me train. Uh, he signed me and he gets sacked. <laughs> 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 so he never even seen me train. So, <laughs> so. And I was part time, and uh, and it was Tony Fitzpatrick who helped me. Right. Uh, um, I wanted to go full time. I said, and they couldn't give me, there was only 50 quid. And they said, right. no, they couldn't give you any money. Mm-hmm. So um, I said to my parents, I said, look, and I'm quitting my job. I need, if I'm going to have a go at this, I need to go right. full time. Mm-hmm. So they said, look, we'll help you. And 
And Tony says, look, and he came and picked me up every morning. Right. Tony came, he was with Pozo. Right. He came up to Pozo, he came up to Milton, picked me up and dropped me off every day. So right. it was great. So it was the expenses. Aye. Because it's about money to get for Aye. Milton to, to Paisley. So Aye. it was great. He done, he done Brown. I went full time. So rather than train Thursdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, mm. I went full time. And I, I played with, you know, the first team and every day, all of a sudden, you know, you're getting, I was getting, they took me, sent me a gym to build out. And, mm -hmm. Don't let a week in the pub, mate. It's just nah, it's too quick, you know, because my pace was aye. my pace was frightening. Aye. And they didn't want to take that away from me. So I was it was uh, Ricky McFarlane that became manager and he was a physio. Right. So he couldn't even fake an injury. <laughs> you know, and I usually fake injuries on a Monday morning. You know? <laughs> Always on a Monday. So so I couldn't even fake an injury. He'd go, ah, really, you can go and run out. <laughs> so, so so that was good. It was um Ricky was brown to me. Put me in under twenty ones, right? Scotland. He was the manager there as well, so it was good. Was, Did you notice the standard difference? It's at oh, Mumford Johnson. I was it a big, big difference. Aye, we had some great players: aye. Lex Richardson, Tony Fitzpatrick, mm -hmm. um, Billy Abercrombie. I mean, Scanlon. It was mm -hmm. the great Billy Stark. Aye, aye. Stark, he was there. Aye. So I was on one side of the midfield, and he was not. And the reason I get played early was because Lexi, Tony. Uh, Billy Stark we were injured. Mm -hmm. We never had enough midfield players. Right. And he played me against Deirdre and I uh, scored two. Nice. So that was it. So I, that was me and the team. So it was uh, it was great. And that was me on my road to, to success, you know, it was, it was good. Uh, I loved it. So Mum were a great team. Aye. Great boys. Frank we to go up front and mm -hmm. Jimmy Bowen and Dougie Somner with we we some Aye. really good team. We got to semi finals most years, you know. Aye. Go to Europe every year. Aye, a good setup. It was uh, it was good playing against love it playing against Cruyff and all that. It was good ah, fun. That's you know, it was, and did aye. you see yourself? Obviously, the move to West Ham comes about. Did you did you want to leave or were you no, happy I, where you were? Was, I know I was. Uh, there was a couple of offers come in during mm -hmm. the season. Uh, no, during that season, during before it, but I, I wasn't ready. No, you know I was just bed myself into some team, mm -hmm. and I and I to be honest, I didn't really know what I wanted to play midfielder. I played four years in midfield and then I, I moved up front. Aye. And uh, and the only reason I moved up front, because <laughs> I was I was getting all these money matches right between midfield and I'd get a wee bit of bottom Frank Mac of any money match and McDougal or Jimmy Bone or somebody would do nothing and score a goal and they'd get all the headlines and I thought I want that I fuck that <laughs> so I'm, I've got this wee money match at the bottom nobody reads it <laughs> so so I thought I want that so and the manager's going you're doing well midfield I said I want to play up front so that was that was it. And Jimmy, to be fair, Jimmy Bowen was great with me. Mm -hmm. I thought it was punishing me. I thought it was bringing me back and just, you know, having the right go at me. Because he used to bring me back and, and have me doing things. And I, I didn't realise at the time he was teaching me, you know, because mm -hmm. I wasn't the biggest in the world. Aye. And Jimmy wasn't, but he was a good centre forward. Mm -hmm. And he used to, he was teaching me how to jump in into defenders so that they kind of jump and just Aye. different things that you don't see people. Do you think he was giving you a hard time? I thought he was giving me a hard time, you know, and I used to call him everything. <laughs> and it was, uh, and I realised that you know, it just hit me one day. He's, he's he's teaching me, aye, um, because he knew I was going. Jimmy says he knew I was going to play up front. He mm -hmm. knew just my runs and aye, you know, he says for midfield, even for midfield, and somebody that shot you were always the first in the keeper. He says that's just, that's just a natural. Again, no, you don't mm. get the box to box no, midfielders no, that much now no, either. No, you don't get them. So us, me and Starkey used to play. And said, we were brilliant. We always had double figures, me and Starkets. So, I mean, it was great coming for, you know, for midfield. So, uh, we used to score a lot of goals, you know, it was good fun. And when did you, so when did you realise you were ready then to go? Because if, if you'd had the offers and you were like, I'm still... Uh, there was offers coming in, but it wasn't really, it was second, first division, championship Aye. teams at the moment, and I thought, mm -hmm. no. I didn't want, I would, I, one thing I didn't want to do is go down, I was a Glasgow boy, I never Aye. been out of Glasgow. Aye. You know, I'd never Aye. been the time I've been away in Glasgow was on holiday. So Aye. Um and I thought, you know what, it's but London was a big I actually I actually been down to sign for Luton. Right. That was the deal. David well, Pleat, David Pleat, wasn't David it? David was on, you know, he was on my he was on my phone at me all the time, speaking to my parents and all that. Before West Ham got Aye, involved. Didn't win anything about some. The only reason I didn't sign for Luton. Because David was a good man, he's a good football guy, Aye. you know, getting a wee bit of bother after it, but, you know, <laughs> me and him could have done a wee bit of camp crawling on a Friday night, I'd have been good with it. I don't know if you like to see it. But it was, uh, you know, it was one of them, um, 
we could have, but I got on well with David. He was great. Mm -hmm. He was on the phone and we talked to me and all that. And you can just tell, can he's a good footballer. Right. And I've been doing the same for Luton with my agent and directors at Smyrna and all that. And they paid for all the flights and all that, right. obviously. And uh, and I've been doing there and then the chairman walked in, slapped me in the back of the head. Welcome to Luton, Macca. And I thought, fuck you. <laughs> You know, and it was one of them, he slapped right. me, and I thought, I didn't want to shake his hand or put it him. <laughs> you know, it was one of them. And I looked at my agent, he knew that way. Aye. You know, he says, oh, I'm a chairman. I, really? I looked at my agent, and he knew that way, so he's, I said, nah, I not, don't chance, why. not a chance, I'm saying for him. And I walked out, and uh, and Malik Muller was the manager, and he's going, he can of see no And I said, why? I said, tell me. Off. And, and he says, look, don't tell him to, to tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I says, why? He says, because they've paid for our flights. He says, <laughs> and I've got to tell you that West Ham's want to talk to you. And I says, when that happen? I right. says, so if I sign for Luton, you wouldn't have told me. He says, we gave Luton first refusal. So if I hadn't right. said, no, I, they wouldn't, you wouldn't I would have known about West Ham. So, so I went and met John Lell, a wonderful, an art guy, football. Aye. Brilliant. I met him at two o'clock or something in a fucking Toddington service station on Aye. M1. Aye. And that's when the deal was done. It was done. I was knackered, you know, and I was, but my agent, Bobby well, Murdo, when I was talking to him, and it was just the four days in there and a cleaner, you know. Right. And I was talking to a cleaner, and she made him get a cup of tea, you know, me. <laughs> she was, uh, she let us in because it was John Lyle, you uh, know, aye. and uh, and it was Austin Crit, and it was great. Did you get a good vibe off of him when you met oh, him? Oh, brilliant. I told him everything he wanted me to do and all that, and, you know, and changed a wee bit because mm -hmm. he wanted me, didn't want to play him up front, he wanted to play me in between the strikers, the number 10. Aye. And uh, to be honest, it didn't work in pre-season because we were fucking hopeless. But in saying that, apparently, well, before us, they never, never really won any games in pre-season. You know, it was all about fitness. Aye. So, um, first game of the season, um, I we flew up to sign that's so like I was arguing over a couple of grand at relocation and all that, and, and he flew up to sign me. And I met him at Glasgow Airport because really? I didn't want to back then. Aye. And he flew up. I met him at the airport, signed, and he flew back down again. So I thought this guy really wants me. Aye. And uh, so that was it. And then the first game, Paul Goddard got injured with 10 minutes to go or something. Mm -hmm. And he was a striker with Tony Cotty. Aye. And uh, put me up front. And then the Tuesday night, we played at home. And I put me up front. And I scored two. And we beat QPR 3-1. Three, three and poor, poor Sars, Paul Goddard, couldn't get back in the team. That was it. Well, you and Tony Cotty had some partnership. 54 well, didn't goals. 54 goals in the first season. You know, it was incredible. Did you just go on well? Did it just click? Nah, we did nah. Two opposite sides of the coin. Were you? Were you? Oh, I mean, we got on well. Aye. But, but Tony's lifestyle, my lifestyle, completely different. Aye. You know, he can he see his wee diagrams. <laughs> you know, and has a curry and watches match of the day. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. I was uh, once I once I left the football ground. That was my football finish for the weekend. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's no diagrams in match no of the day. No diagrams, no no diagrams. There was a lot of figures. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was good. I loved that. I loved everything about London as Aye. well because I was going out and and I was the top goals. I'm banging in goals all Aye. the time and and uh, all of a sudden people recognise you. People get to know you. And, you know, it wasn't so much. I was already with Peter Stringfellow. I was in there. He let me in. <laughs> <laughs> and he he was he knocked me back the first time. Oh, when you tried to get in. <laughs> I tried to get in. He knocked me back and uh, and I, I never let him forget it. So <laughs> it was good. But he's at uh, once he's got to know me. Aye. And he done a documentary and he says he, he never wanted footballers in strength fillers. Why? Because we're arrogant. So it's, it's uh, just, and then I come in. You know, I talked to everybody. Aye. You know, I go. I was talking to barman, the, 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 the doorman, mm -hmm. all that. I knew them all names. Aye. You know, I was, I was saying, different, he's different from Aye. everyone else. So. It's just bad respect. My parents brought me up the right way, you know. It doesn't cost you nothing to be polite people. Hundred percent. Uh, so that was on. It was it was good. And then all of a sudden, I went on the Terry Wogan show, and my life changed completely. That's, you know, I mean, how do you even get to that? How does Wogan happen? How did that? Well, I was just about to make my debut for. I was top goal scorer in Europe. Right. Just about to make my debut for Scotland. Right. And uh, and there, there was. Uh, they were having, they were saying I was the new Dennis Law and all that kind right. of nonsense, you know. Did that, yeah. did that, did you feel the pressure of that or no, did it bother you? No, it didn't bother me. Dennis, I knew Dennis, yeah, I knew right. him. he gave me my play the year up in Scotland, right. you know. And he says he followed my career, what a lot of crap. I, <laughs> I was winding him up, he said, no. he said, followed his career, did he? Right. So, <laughs> um, but he's, I met him when I was at West Ham, we, 
<laughs> we went to, uh, oh, I went to, someday, I had to blew up somewhere, somewhere in, in the skillin or somewhere. Right. It was big, uh -huh. years and eighties. Mm -hmm. And uh, me, Dennis, and <laughs> George Best went. Right. And uh, to do a Saturday morning show. Right. One of Saturday, I can't Aye. remember one of us. I don't know if it was two was, I don't know anyway. Right. One of Saturday morning Aye. show. What a weekend that was. But they two, oh, you know, they two are the well, good drinkers. Can I you imagine? Know, I saw it was them. Um, it was quite, quite funny. I, I, I realised then I was in with the big boys. You know, it was, uh, it's quite it was a very time. different for Paisley. Aye, aye, it was a big time, wasn't it? So that was it. But I loved it. And then, so I was going on, I would make my debut and, you know, they say that that was a new Dennis Law and all that. Mm -hmm. To be fair, you know, we compared me to Dennis, but, you know, I've got to admit, Dennis used to stay in the fridge. No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, couldn't compare me. No, it was uh, nah, it was, it was just to be compared with him. I think no, it was only because we, 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 the two used to wear long sleeves. <laughs> that's a bit of the only comparison I had with him. You know, apart from the fact, you know, he was he was wonderful. Ghost oh, yeah. If I'd got anywhere near him, I would have been happy. But I was making my debut, and, and that was a bit. You know, it's a bit. I was top goal scorer. Oh, so I, I, to be honest, I thought I was just going to be in the squad when I. Mm -hmm. Went to Scotland, so but Fergus said to me, "No, because Jock died." And, Aye. And Fergus said to me, "You know, you're playing." But it all came from that walking, so that was the biggest change for Aye. me because all the all the sport press knew me mm -hmm. in London, mm -hmm. um, and the football pundits Aye. knew me. Aye. But the the press or the the average I'm not going to call him gutter, but the, the average press mm -hmm. guy, the, you know, the media press Aye. didn't know who I was. Aye. And then I went on Morgan and it changed overnight. So all of a sudden I went to Stringfields this Saturday and uh, you know, you usually pay, pay the girl and get her down. I go, I'm up on the table dancing, you know what I mean? It's a usual crap. But it was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was all the girls used to flick money at me. <laughs> probably, we used to reverse, play reverse <laughs> games. It was good and that kind of dance to save my life. But all of a sudden when guys come in and, and Peter, see him talking to Peter and Peter come in and says, Frank, the press are outside waiting on you. I'm like, what? Right. Some of Wogan because there was twenty three million people watching Wogan, <laughs> so I was like, wow. So and it was bright. Peter, there was a sheet, one of the sheets, in, and right. he said, you can use my one month take it home. So I've ran out with a girlfriend. I've run out with a press with right. lights. No, it was like big time. And I got in the car and I, and I lived in Essex. Right. The wee guy must have thought I lived in the corner. <laughs> it was about an hour's drive. <laughs> so I've done all his drinking all the sheets. <laughs> So he was the two up here, he says, oh, he was raging, he was raging. He says, he was going, he's away for ages, not that. And then, and then he phoned him, because um, he wasn't happy when he found out there was no drink left in the car. So <laughs> <laughs> but he's seen the funny side, so it was, uh, Peter was laughing. And that was it, it was just, I went to see my mum was going to, my brother lived in Australia. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mum was going to, mum and dad were going to see him. And I, I says, right, okay, I says, well, I'll meet you. Aye. Um, We'll have a bit of lunch at Heathrow because he had about four or five years stopover. Right. And, uh, and when I went in Heathrow, or you know, because it was not four mobile phones, but everyone Aye. at the airport cameras because they were going holiday. Aye. So everyone was asking for autographs and old oh, dears and that coming up and thinking I got forty and I was that. And I realised that my life had changed, you know. So Do you, did that? How did you feel about that? Because obviously it's a massive upturn, never, isn't it? Never bothered me. I, I've always, I've always said that I'll never refuse an autograph or a photograph because it's, unless I'm having dinner and something comes out and annoys me. But Aye. you know, I, I'll never refuse an autograph mm -hmm. if I can possibly help it or, or a photo because I know, I know what it's like when you mm -hmm. you meet people. You know, mm -hmm. as I say, Kenny was my idol. You know, and I get a chance to play up front with him. You know, I can phone him up for advice. Didn't give me any, but can phone him up. You know, <laughs> what about the Obviously, you get the, the fan side of it, and you were like a god down there with the West Ham right. fans, but how, what about the press side of it? Because that can obviously get a bit shite as well on that side of things. I'm going to be honest with you, listen, the press, the press were all right with me. Sorry, right. just not that. The press were all right. They, 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 they don't come after you unless you've done something wrong. Right. You know how these people right. want a bit of press? I can't want because I've always done something wrong. <laughs> so so when they come after you, you kind of, kind of blame the press. Right. You know, doing a job. Mm -hmm. So that was that was that was me. I used to they, every time I get caught, I just put my hand up. Yeah, so that was me. <laughs> you know, so that was and it, that way you're only getting one day's press. You know, uh, and then they move on. Going, they move on. So it's um, you keep going. But that was I didn't bother. 
groups. I, mm. I never blamed the press for anything, really. So. Mm. And did you, were you happy playing down south or was, there, was there always a part of you that wanted to play for Celtic at well, some Celtic point? Celtic was the only team that I would, I would move for. Aye. Um, I would, do you know, I get told when I was at Simon, that was my last game was against, I was playing Celtic and, mm -hmm. and the boy says, you're going to Celtic and after it, one of the directors. Right. And, uh, and I went, yeah, all right. And I hadn't scored against Celtic and, we were three on I don't know, and I scored mm -hmm. anyway, you know, and it wasn't for lack of time, but you know, it's one of him, but I wouldn't pack it up. He was, he was like, I said, Pack, I could have scored against you anytime, you know, but I, obviously I never, but <laughs> I wound him up. <laughs> he was there happy. <laughs> so, yeah, but it was, uh, and I never signed, uh, they signed uh, we more, so it mm -hmm. was, uh, it changed. I went, I went to England, so it was great. I, I loved it, didn't I? As I, oh, say, yeah. I loved it. It was good to know. I love my time to know. It was, mm -hmm. And if the fans just loved us because I gave 100%. Aye. And it just took to this wee boy for Glasgow. And, mm -hmm. you know, and even now I'm, I'm like, incredible. Aye, because that's Absolutely even when incredible. you look online, like, they're still, West Ham fans are still incredible. mad for. Aye. You, well, you and Tony as well. I know, he is. I know it's, it's incredible. Because that was just, we should have won it. I mean, speaking to Kenny and he keeps winding us up. Well, that's the team that nearly won and all that kind of stuff. But we had six weeks we never played. Right. And that's what knack of us, because we were on a roll. Aye. And then we had to play, see the boys are complaining about playing now. Aye. We had to play Saturday, Monday and Wednesday to get the games. I mean, that was incredible. And we only had 14 or 15 players. So it was like, you know, all this nonsense, you know. So we ran each team. Because um, we got to the semi-final, we got to the quarter-final in the other cup. We wanted Aye. to win everything. Aye. And um, we just ran each team. So, Is it hard though that... Saturday, Monday, aye. just constant kind of. bother me because I wanted. I didn't want to train. Aye. I hate to train. Aye. Aye. So you just want to play. Want to play. I'll chase a ball all day long. But, so it was incredible. But you know, and the replays we had, we played three replays against Ipswich in the cup. I mean, it's when it happened now. No, it wouldn't happen now. So um, we had two against my United, but I don't mind that because you, you beat them anyway. So it was good. <laughs> that was really like beating them. So, but yeah, it was it was good. We should have won. We should have concentrated just in the league. Mm -hmm. um, but the boys were wanting to play every game, so Aye. it was incredible. And see, was the, the Scotland side, did you did you think you would go to the 86 World Cup or did were you just well, concentrating top, on playing? <clears throat> I was top goal scorer. Once I got in the team mm -hmm. and I scored at Hamden, I mean, Aye. and I made that, I get poked in for that one, Coop, what, with what he's got, mm -hmm. Coop in the bottom corner. So, yeah, it was, it was sort of a deal. I mean, the game over there was crap. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was terrible. Me and David Speedy, it was up front. And it was awful. Mm -hmm. um, just eight o'clock in the morning, but it felt like Aye. eight o'clock here, but it felt that way, you know. And, mm -hmm. and the Scotland team, there's a snow like today, you know, travelling first class and get a bed. No, you, you didn't get that. It was cattle class. Aye. You know? <laughs> or a director, or, or the SFA, were in the first, first class that we get cattle class. These are two to your chair. Oh, God. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So you've got 24 hours or 18 hours, Aye. whatever, cramped up. So it was, it was really bad, you know. Um, miserable, so it's typical SFA. We went out there and it was in a hotel, nobody else was in it. It was a wee crap over there, place, yeah, yeah. you know. It was, uh, we were last to qualify, you know, but it was uh, first to leave. <laughs> <laughs> was it a good experience, the actual tournament? Was it a well, Mexico was there was a lot going on at Mexico Aye. at the time, and there was earthquakes and all that, and Aye. it shouldn't have happened. Aye. But they, you know, typical, they, they built it up. And, mm -hmm. And it, it was, listen, it was wonderful for us. We, you know, it was great. Kenny never went. I was gutted about that. Mm -hmm. Kenny never went. Um, but it was good. To, and I was sharing the room with Sunnis, and that was good fun. Yeah, you know, it's, he's a good lad. He was a great lad. But football guy as well. I went out, I was only on 300 quid or something like that when I'm doing it with Sam. Mm -hmm. I was only on 350. I was on 250 at St. Martin. So I didn't go down to England for the money. Which is mental when you think about it. I know, I is. know. But I've been doing it. I've been doing it. Oh, but, but, before Christmas, I got, you know, umpteen rises, so I was Aye. getting rises all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but I was doing it, and I was, we went to Rodeo Drive, and, and Charlie Nick, my mate, and me, him, and, me, him and Graham went out to Rodeo Drive, and I'm getting you know, all that. Good prices. <laughs> fuck, I'm looking at them going, you need to a mortgage for that. I was like, what was on my wallet? <laughs> it, was, it, was, uh, it was incredible. So they're buying these bags and all that. They, they've not got a care in the world. <laughs> And I, I didn't want to know buy anything. I bought this wee stupid wallet, Louis Vuitton. It was, oh. Why the wallet skin oh, you? I fucking bought it. Was that. <laughs> I was like, that. unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> the only reason I bought it is because they were buying everything. Right? And I asked for a big bag. <laughs> 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 the 
I'm going out with hold dogs and I, I'm, I've got this big bag of a wee wallet. And I, <laughs> uh, so it was good fun. It was good fun. Just to, just to get that experience going away with the boys who come and had it with Brown. Right. Like Santa Fe and all that. And mm-hmm. Unbelievable. You know, it was great. Very good to be fair. He got a good, he got a good squad there. Uh, you know, How um, was he to, to play under? <clears throat> it was all right. Uh, he made a mistake not playing me. I mean, that's really? got 28 goals in the premiership and he never played me. Did he say why? Did he, Did you have a conversation with him about the it? The press took me and Charlie away. Right. And got our photos done with the cowboy hats and all that. Right. And sombreros and all that kind right. of stuff. Saying that we're the strike force that's going to fire us to the next stage of the World Cup. And Fergus says, the press don't pick my team. And I'm like, now anyone who knows anything about football, me and Charlie Nicholas were born to play with each other. Right. You know, Charlie mm-hmm. wants everything at feet and I'll take everything on the top. And right. It was tailor made. Mm-hmm. And and I think Fergie just says, no. Nah. Right. You know, I was last in. Do you think that picture thing? It done me, aye. aye. It done me. It's a picture done me. Aye. Mental. I know, I think it did because it, it put a bee in his bonnet, you know. Mm-hmm. And, then, and he dropped fucking soon as as well, one of the games. And, that, and it's because at that time, Fergie didn't have a Man United job. Aye. He wanted the Rangers job. Mm-hmm. And he didn't know that uh, until we went to going to World Cup that Sunnis was buying it. Uh, so he just right, found okay. out, so he wasn't happy. Uh, right. And Sunnis said to me he was going to drop him on the games. I'm going, you can't drop you. And the one game that you want, Graham Sunnis and your team, is against Uruguay. Aye. You know, they're a different team now. Uruguay, I watched them today. Good team, good football team. But Aye. Then they were Half just... team. Oh, they were just thugs. Aye. And you want Graham Sunnis and your team, Aye. and you never played them. And he played Paul McStay. Now, Paul, to me, was world class when Aye. I played with him. Mm-hmm. But at that time, Aye. I would have put... You need that experience day, in there. All day long. Aye. You know, and uh, I think we could have we could have got through if, if it wasn't for that. And that. I think Fergie would admit he made mistakes. I mean, you know, somebody just scores. I mean, Gary Lineker beat me with a golden boot. You know, and he took 12 penalties, you know, and, and he got a golden boot at the World Cup. Aye. And I'm going, that's how confidence of it, strikers of it, confidence. And... Uh, I was, I was in fire, you know. Was, I thought everything I touched was going to go on a goal. Surely, you know? but the squad must have been sitting thinking as well. How's he even nah, playing here? Same as soon as as well. You must be sitting in. going, what's happening here? I was asking the room when he was telling me. I couldn't believe it. What he said was right, you know. Was he fuming or was he like... Nah, he just, what can you do? Whatever. He was, he was too busy concentrating on going to try and change Rangers. Is it true that he sounded you out about going to Rangers? He asked me. He asked me. It's not a big deal. He right. asked me to sign. I said, no. Couldn't do it, and then he made an approach to West Ham. Mm-hmm. But it was obvious. It was not. No, was, uh, I knew what he wanted. He wanted. He told me he, he wanted me. Want, it had to be me, Charlie Nicholas, or Morris Johnson, because the three of us were Roman Catholics. Right. And he wanted to break the divide, and mm-hmm. it, it worked for about ten minutes, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Even a <if> front. <laughs> I, it for, but I knew what what was at stake. I don't think Graham knew what he was saying. I says no because. Aye. I think Mo's dad got battered that night in the pub. It's when he signed. Jeez. So I couldn't, I couldn't put that. See, me, I can take anything. Aye. Like me, but Aye. It brings your family in it, you know, it's a wee bit. And I, I used to go to games and all that with my dad. And my dad worked in the committee the church and the chapel and all that. Aye. You know, it's, it's like damn signing for Rangers. Oh, I <laughs> been, I, I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been able to go back to the chapel, you know, it would have been, it'd have been cursing God. <laughs> Could you see, see if it, when you were obviously rooming with, with Sunnis and that, did you think he would be a success when he went up to, to Rangers and... Oh, I come to the place. Aye. Aye. Good place. You know, I was waiting him up because was, I was like, you know, or he's internationals coming up and he's going to hit about Roman Catholic. And I'm going, you know, big Haley, you know, that's all Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it had to be, you know, it had to be, um, it had to be a showcase, basically. Aye. Aye. He says, I'm out of fact, the mere fans that won't come back, I'll get two of them back in. Uh, and he wanted to break it, and, you know. Just he wanted to break up. That I mean, they never signed, you know. Aye. So, aye. But most of the same as me. We all know the boys coisted. And that's all pals, you know. I was got to say, a front line of you and McCoist oh, would have been worth paying for. Aye, it would have been, it would have been decent. We played, we played in a couple of years ago in Dubai. Right. Him up front, and God rest him, Andy Gorham was in the sidelines, and he shouted, he's never seen two holding strikers before. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was good fun. We laughed. Like, you go for it. No. Like, it's near running. Near running was done there. So, 
Aye, but it's all good fun. It was one of them. I just couldn't. It was my team Celtic. Aye. And, um, and it wouldn't have been as bad for me because I hadn't played for Celtic at that time. Aye, you were coming through so West, Ham. West Ham. So Aye. It wouldn't have been as bad, but I just, you know, Celtic's my club. Aye. And, uh, and it was just one of the things. It's, you know, it was nothing about religion or anything like that. You know, I'm just... I just just I'm made a choice support, on it. You know, it's Aye. Um, How yeah. did the move come about then to Celtic? <clears throat> they came in for me, Billy. <laughs> Billy. Billy came in for me and John knew that was the only team I'd leave for. So it was pretty simple, mm -hmm. really. When I went, to, I went to speak to them, and uh, and it was great. My agent, Bob Murdo, was mm -hmm. agent, <laughs> agent on <laughs> as you call him. Well, he he done the Mo Johnson Aye, move, didn't yeah, he? he? Aye. So, well, he had me Mo and. George Best, I mean, what do you that is? <laughs> I can't believe he still gets here. I've got to say, how many phone calls must oh, he have got? Oh, bro, I must <laughs> laugh at police, not that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, aye, it was, it was good. It was just one of these situations. But like, come in, there was a, because they were happened at Liverpool, and there was no Europe, we were banned from mm -hmm. Europe and England, so they all, all the boys come out. Rangers didn't aye. even soon as they thought it was in this change. And, uh, and, you know, when I was talking to Billy, <laughs> my agents talked to the old, Biscuit tin board member, he miserable mm -hmm. sod. So he's talking to him, and I'm talking to Billy. And Billy's giving it all that. He's going, you know, the Rangers are buying all these big international players, and that's so we come in for you. And I'm going, oh, fucking cheers. <laughs> <laughs> he went, no, no, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. He says, I'm just, we're just going to buy Celtic supporters, you know. And, right. And uh, I think you should have fucking started with that, you know. <laughs> so that'd have been a good start, but we were having a laugh about it and all that. And it was, it was just, I knew what he wanted. Aye. You know, and that's what he done. He just got boys that were just prepared to get that the extra 10%. Mm -hmm. And it worked, it worked, it worked big time, you know. And I didn't realise when, when I get, when I get sent off my first game against Rangers, I didn't realise that all the supporters were saying that, put the marker down, that, that's not what it was meant. It was just, <laughs> I just don't like keepers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just always hit them. So, but then that blew up. It blew up. The Massively, referee, didn't it? The referee never. I mean, it was embarrassing. The referee never left a game again. No. Well, see when you. Guy, I'll never forget his name. Duncan, his name. See I when you watch forget. it now. Right. You'd be lucky if there'd be yellow cards. No, no. See if they would to go to twos and just say, "Look, used to sort Aye. it." That'd have been it. Because me and Chris knew each other in England, not. And that would have been it. Aye. And and he, he didn't, you know, and it. Is it just adrenaline in the games? Aye. Is it just total? Aye, the gaffer said, don't get involved. <laughs> All right. 14 minutes later. <laughs> said, oh, Charles been sighting a riot and breach of the peace. Well, that's the thing. Like... It. And it was, it was police get involved and it was the first time in world football. No, none of us Scottish bash. It was world football. So we, the four of us, and you know, you can imagine the press, they loved it. Gold deluxe and the three bears. It was brilliant. <laughs> How soon <laughs> after the game it. did you realise it was going to become like a court hanging? I didn't know I was lying. I was, I was in a party. At I was staying in Moses. I, I rented his house up. Mm -hmm. And I was I was at a party in, in my house. And I got a phone call. Who are you in, big boss? I said, why? He says, you've got to go to... Uh, was it no Bayless? What do you call it? Uh, uh, Bill Houston. Right. Uh, police station. Oh, at Helen Street. For what? You've got to go and get charged. I was like, what? I was fucking my head washing. I still thought it was a wind up. Aye. And, uh, I said, I can't drive. <laughs> he says, he's a big Alan Knight. He says, get out of my drive. He don't mind if he loses his license. <laughs> <laughs> so big Alan drove me off. And it was uh, incredible. I was going to get charged. And, you know, we met at the hotel and it was. Uh, one of the lawyers, one of the lawyers looked after the four of us. Right. Uh, Len Murray, big Len Murray, brilliant, great, right. great guy. Big Celtic guy, didn't know what to work for. Mm -hmm. But he was on, he had to take his on, right. one at a time, right. to get charged. So he, he, he made his money that day, that's for sure. He uh, must have been sitting there like, what the fuck is happening here, man? Just stand there and just say my name. And, you know, and, and it was embarrassing, you know. I mean, you can imagine it, because it was world press, Every continent was, had a press guy outside, so it was. I thought it was Ronnie Cray. You know, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the hell? It was embarrassing. Jeez. It was really embarrassing. It was worse than when I came out of Stringfellas. <laughs> 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 so, so it was. Uh, it was. I. It was. It was weird. It was a weird. Um, it really was a weird. And and of course, I thought. I mean, as soon as they actually wanted to buy me, wanted to buy me a barrister because Celtic want to give me a barrister. Well, for the actual, the middle that board was, no, I want to, 
You want to make it Jimmy Farrell? Right. Jimmy Farrell was a good, fair enough, good mm-hmm. lawyer, but a lawyer kind of got against three barristers. Aye. They just ate them. Aye. Aye. And, uh, and it was soon as he was laughing, he says, I'll, I'll get you when I sit up. I saw him. <laughs> and he says, no, I'll not get it through Rangers. And, Aye. And I says, no, I says, thanks very much. I says, but he gave me the ammunition. I went in and said to the gaffer, I says, look, tell the board, Rangers want to buy me a barrister. Oh, so man, that like, must have went oh, down well. Aye, went down well. <laughs> So I get the best of the lot, you know. <laughs> I, got, I got a guy who was just about to become a judge. So, so they're all shitting themselves in the so. But it was, you know, we're all sitting having lunch. Cause we couldn't get it because they're nice. And we're sitting having lunch. And, uh, and the thing was, the total, we all agreed. One's done, we're all done. Aye. You know, and that was what it is. And, and it was embarrassing. But see the laws of football, mm-hmm. this is tr- even now, the laws of football, what came out in that court case was because I had a goalkeeper. I was allowed to hit a goalkeeper, right? Because remember, you seen football for years ago. Centre forward used to bat a goalkeeper. Goal laws are aye. aye, right? Well, I'm still allowed to hit them. The, the laws of the game have not changed. Interpretations of the law mm-hmm. has changed, but the actual laws of the game haven't right. changed. So the three of them get done, and I get knocked out <laughs> because I was allowed to hit a goalkeeper. <laughs> and I'm how crazy is that? <laughs> and I, you know, I didn't want a criminal record, I don't mean that, but, Aye. you know, but I just thought if one's done, we're all done, and Aye. we didn't. Aye. And, and <laughs> Chris get knocked, he get guilty, and I get knocked out, and he's going, we fucking started. It's <laughs> 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 brilliant. He, he judges banging the angle. <laughs> uh, it was good. Graham Roberts said, he get not proven, and he didn't know what that mean. Because uh, it's only a Scottish thing, aye. And he's going, what's that mean? He's prod me. And I says, you know, it was you that can't approve it. So that was it. That was it. It was just a weird. That's mental. It's weird. It was a crazy. It was a crazy couple of weeks. It was really, you know, insight to the rich and famous, really, because they must aye. get out all the time, you know. 100%. You know, it was him. Um, it was weird. But it was good fun. It was good. I got a week after training, which is bright. <laughs> <laughs> you Did you feel. Obviously, you're a Celtic fan. Mm-hmm. Did you feel more pressure playing for them? No, I loved it. I, Aye. I think I think it takes a you know I'm I'm a great believer in how many players have we seen coming up, good players coming up Celtic and, or Rangers for that man can of hack it. Aye. you know because the, the demand because I'm a supporter, I know that they have to win every game. Are you for the demands watching Aye. for it? So I know what it's I know what it was like. So now everyone. Doesn't matter what support. If they see you gear hundred percent, mm-hmm. everyone's entitled to a bad game. Aye. But if you gear hundred percent, you can still do something for the team. Mm-hmm. Put some people under pressure, and you know, just cause it come a nuisance. You know. Aye. Um, but the Hearts game when we played Hearts in the semi final, I was one of my worst games. Mm-hmm. I just kept harassing and banging the keeper, and it just kept annoying defence and Aye. putting them under pressure. Mm-hmm. And we got two goals just because of my running. Aye. So you can still help the team when you're, and the people, people shy away and don't do nothing when they're having a bad game. But as you can't do that, and I never ever done that. So, could you, could you tell, obviously, from being a fan and then a player, when when players come into a club like Celtic, can you tell if they're cut out for it early doors? Aye, aye. There's a couple of boys that come. I can't even name them. Aye. But there's, aye. Two mm-hmm. people just go in and swagger in. And, aye. And all of a sudden they shit themselves when you. Aye. Fifty thousand fans screaming at you. Aye. You know, and it's um, and you as I say, if you hear one hundred percent, they'll they'll love you. Mm-hmm. You know, the fans will get you. Mm-hmm. So that's what they want. I mean, they just want everyone to keep try. Aye. And if they see people strolling about, they don't like it. And, Aye. You know, quite right. And especially now with the money they're on, you see people. I hear it. Just, Aye. See people strolling about. Can they run ten know, yards? Oh my God! I'm <laughs> at, you know, and I, and I can't even shout to them because it's people think you're butting that, but it's not. Aye. It's just. Um, so I'm new back to being a supporter, which is good. Mm-hmm. It's good fun. I was going to support well. Celtic and West Ham. I didn't see West. I go to some in games as well. Aye, you know, getting so about to the freedom. Aye, it's good. I go to, the, I go in and see them, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy it. See, I've played for the three clubs. My only players played for three clubs twice. Do you know yeah. when I was looking the other night when I was doing a bit of research, there isn't that many yeah. that have I even been to one there club is, or two I, clubs. I think I think there's a Charlie been at two clubs. Mm-hmm. I think he was. No, I don't know. Charlie saying for Celtic twice, that's for sure, but I Aye. don't know. But uh, three clubs twice, so. And was that just that? Did you just feel a loyalty to the places no, you I were? I wanted to finish it some month when I was going back. I, I thought Jimmy Bone asked me to come in. Mm-hmm. He says, yeah, all right, but, uh, you know, it was one of them. 
Aye. Good, you know, but it was, good, it was good fun. Mm-hmm. And I suppose at Celtic, obviously, you've you scored winners in all firm games, you scored Aye. winners in cup finals. Well, when I came back, it was Liam Brady, you know, it was Aye. and Liam was again, it was there to him. Mm-hmm. He asked me, I wasn't fit enough, and he asked me, Give him an hour, and I said, Cup time. I went, yeah, Okay, and it was pissing the rain all that day, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking, Oh, I'm not fit enough for this. Aye. And it, I played, and it was uh, <laughs> we won one on, but before the game, I'm sitting in the dressing room at Airdrie mm-hmm. and, and I thought we were playing fucking Real Madrid <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at Paul and Granny and all that I'm going it's Airdrie we're playing I just couldn't beat him Aye. you know all this crap about watch him and watch him you know I'm, I don't take I don't ever take any team lightly but mm-hmm. I mean if we play and they play Aye, you win Aye. you know it's simple as that and mm-hmm. the boys were terrified Aye. so I that was um, that was what happened in the, the first game. I, I, I stood up and said, "Bollocks to this!" Mm-hmm. You know, I said, "Playing the entry." Can you follow me? And Tommy Craig was laughing because he knew I would do that. So, how did they get down with the players? Brilliant, they were like, "Can they never scared to see anything?" Aye. But I played with them at West Ham, right? So, Aye. you know, Aye, you're not going to just sit there. No, he's not going to. But he knew that. I'm, he knew that. The boys that he had at Celtic weren't going to go and tackle keepers and weren't going to... Mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't mind the tussle, you know. Aye. There's a lot of boys, silky players and all that, but the you know, centre-half comes into them, they don't know what they do. Aye. Whereas I like that, I didn't bother that, so, you know. Well, I suppose in the bigger games you need that. You need Aye, somebody that's going to go in and yeah, maybe not end up in court, but... <laughs> 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 I know, we granny... It was funny because I get centre-half after 14 minutes and me granny... Um, Says it, but I get told the granny scored the second one. Right, it was two each, wasn't it? And I watched it at night, and he's glad he's blessing himself and all that. And, I, and I'm, I watched the game, and I, I went in the morning. And I said, "Fuck it, granny." I was in the dressing room. I've got more chance of claiming that goal. <laughs> Look at him, I mean, butcher that scored that. Hey, granny says it was him. <laughs> brilliant. How were the How were the actual games to play in? Is it as mad brilliant. as a fan as it is playing? I it? loved it. You know, I used to win cause win cause. He, he spoke about it in the radio a couple of weeks ago. He says. It was weird, but I mean, listen, we're all pals. Me, Durant and I, we went in a tackle, we never held back. Aye. None of us held back. Mm-hmm. Bomber and all that used to come through me. Mm-hmm. Butcher, never, never ever held back. Mm-hmm. But you know, we, we knew each other after part of a beer and all that. So, and I was, remember I scored at Ibrox and, the, <laughs> and I was laughing because of course he was taking the foot, he was raging and all that. And then, and then he scored about five minutes later. <laughs> And he's standing, he's standing, going like laughing at me, and I'm going, "Mine was better news." <laughs> <laughs> the crowd must have been going, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyway, we get barred that day, but anyway, it was, it was good. But we just got oh, met, you know. Got, the barter must. The we're still must playing. We're tremendous. still playing sixes, no, no, We're going to play sixes now. Still as competitive as you were. Well. Nah, 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 nah. It's not that. No, Aye. You just play. It's good. We fad, you know. Some, some same. It's mm-hmm. good. Still good fun. Aye. It's all good. I enjoy it. Keeps me fat. Definitely. Uh, so how did you? How did West Ham come about again? If you're obviously enjoying Celtic, you're you're scoring. Well, I'm, I'm not going to go into it all, but the, mm-hmm. I, I never get the promises that I made get made. Never, never get right. Never get done. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I, basically, I came up for a less money than what I was on at West Ham. Right. So, and I wasn't happy about it. Mm-hmm. And the gaffer it was nothing to do with the gaffer. The gaffer didn't he? he his hands were tied. You know, right. he's all bored. Once we won the once we won the league and won won a cup, mm-hmm. the next season they were like, "Nah, no, you're not getting it." Basically, no. so I wasn't happy, and uh, but I never, I never let it affect my performance. Aye, you're much. still playing, and I never let it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I was, I wasn't happy all week, but mm-hmm. you know, I, when I went on the pitch, it was for me and my family, and the fans. No, you know, so I never ever let it. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, and that was it. It was just. I, I could have went to Arsenal and Arsenal were going to win the league. And because of what Celtic had done to me, Arsenal were going to win the league. And I was spoke to George Graham and I thought, you know what? I just can't even believe I'm having to do and improve myself again. Aye. I'm loved at West Ham. I thought, you know what? Just go back here. Right. They were getting relegated. And I knew they were getting relegated. And I thought, no. You still took them over I Arsenal? Took and them, took them over Arsenal, aye. Because I just... That was, was that the year they won the league in the last aye, kick aye, of the ball at aye, Anfield? Aye. I signed right after after I never signed. So but it was most funny. I just thought I didn't even like go and prove myself again. Aye. And I, I love West Ham and you know I'm I'm quite loyal that mm-hmm. way because it's it's a London team that they wouldn't want to meet sign for. Mm-hmm. 
So there was that and the fact that I, I didn't have to prove myself. But Aye. Myself, Aye. You know, and I went back in. Was John still the gaffer? John was still the Aye. gaffer and he, get, and he get sacked, which was the worst thing my son's ever done. Mm -hmm. And they brought me McCarry in, who was... You just, was oh, it just a clash or oh, did you just... Straight away, come on and then says, I'm going to change you. I thought, here we go. Change it to what? What was the, no, what was the... Me, no getting out, no. Oh, no, right, no, okay. Right, here we go. That was it. And I was staying in a hotel, and he, I was staying in a hotel, and he, <laughs> and he said to me, I'm going to change, you know, all that crap. And then, anyway, he was in the same hotel. Right. And uh, one night about 11 o'clock, he came out when he was on to and all that, and I was at the reception, and I'm back at the bar. And he came out of the bar, and he went, I fucking, I told you, I changed you, 11 o'clock, you're back in. Just then my taxi drew up and I went, see that gaffer and walked out straight in the taxi. His face, his face was a picture. <laughs> I was like, hey, I was hit. He never spoke to me really after that. <laughs> and did you, could you tell it was not going to work out for him at West Ham when he came in? He was hopeless. Aye. He was, listen, I, I like Lou. Mm -hmm. and he's doing great for homeless now. Mm -hmm. It was my idol growing up, and I Aye. thought when he came in, I thought we're going to get football and all that. Ah, it's going to be brilliant. Find a goalkeeper for Owen and Boyd. He wouldn't let him play, play, play for the back. So we just kick it one. And, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, you know, mm -hmm. I'm getting headaches. Aye. You know, I tried to hit it that much. It was, it was incredible. And his training was, you know, kick the boys as hard as you can, and you've got one bounce to get to the halfway line, you've got to catch it. it was, and if you could beat, nothing to do with his tactics, it was you're not fit enough. So, never seen so many. See the cones in the motorway. Mm -hmm. That was us in pre season, all eight cones. It was, I get, I get so heated when I'm driving along. <laughs> mate. I get, all eight cones, I get put in. I'm like, well, we may carry his training regime. <laughs> Did you ever say it to him? I was well, a... the, the boys got him sacked. Aye. They actually got him sacked. Because there the must boys, have been a lot of. The boys went and got him sacked and. It didn't do me a lot of good man by itself, and then he got a manager's job, did it? Aye, oh, well, that's it. Oh, that was me, that was me away again. That was me off. So. But was surely, you're sitting at Celtic. He stole, me going to, he stole me going to Man City. When you were at Celtic or West Ham? The second one. No, Man City came in for me when I was at Celtic the second time. And uh, I was, deal was all done. Right. You know, and that time I was getting off of me thousands. And, and uh, you want to go, were you? Well, I couldn't play. My car wasn't playing. Aye. It was funny because Charlie was there and he played, I can't remember, it was Andy Payne and somebody else. And me and Charlie, we should have played. But we were, didn't like us. We were a... Because he's been out in that. We talked and we, we could answer back. We were addressing him. We were lively. Mm -hmm. And I think we played Falkirk and we got beat. And anyway, they, when it was in the cup, we had to play them in the league midweek. And the strikers got injured and they played me and Charlie. And ugh, what a laugh we had. And I get two and he get one. And we, we just absolutely barred them for one or something. And it was... It was embarrassing how chalk G's compared to the Aye. weekend and the fans couldn't understand how we never played the next game. You know, it was incredible. See, when he came to Celtic, was there any chat between you or did he just not play you for he the get-go? <laughs> Nothing <laughs> at all? He waved this. <laughs> Which is mental, but because you he think about to, it. He said to you, off, that was me, I was finished, that was, because he didn't like me. But listen, that is what it is, Aye. you know. Um, and he, but he found out what Man City was offering me. Right. And he stopped, he stopped the deal. Saying what? Just... He says it. He says that they, they pulled it. Right. And yet, Brian Horton was on the phone to me saying, that we said you pulled plug in it. And Brian Horton was the manager. He shouldn't have been doing it, but he, he did. He was Aye. on the phone to me, he was on the phone to me. And right. He says, whatever he says, it's no as we wanted you. Yes. So and I couldn't say it in carry because he could have done Brian. Aye. And, uh, but you're sitting it. fuming at that Aye. point then, aren't you? Yeah. Region. End up, end up going to Swindon to um, Cadigal with him. Aye. And it was David Hay and John Gorman were there. And it was right. good. I went down there and, <laughs> and two strikers were injured. Right. And I went down the first day, I went down there, the two strikers got off a treatment table and they were <laughs> clearing themselves fit. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> and he's going, I've got to play them. And I'm saying, what do you want me to do? Aye. He said, we playing midfield. I said, I'm not playing midfield for 10, 12 years. And I was playing against Newcastle and they barred us and I was, Boys were out of place, you mm -hmm. know, it was, and it, cause it's a different place, Aye. different way of playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it, it was all that. And then played Man United the next week. And he says, will you play up front? Mm -hmm. I went, well, what's the matter with your two golden boys? And he just looked at us. And it was Palestine and Bruce, and they couldn't handle. They, they were terrified of Palestine and Bruce. You know? so played up front, we got a good draw. We got a good draw with them. So it was, I, I mean, I knocked him about. <laughs> Steve, Steve was... Uh, <laughs> 
Palace is like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I used to wind them up. We had to, we got Canton, I sent off. Because <laughs> me, me and John, uh, John and Carl were chairing the room. And uh, she's the only way we can beat them is to get Canton. Do you know how I used to have a collar up? Aye. So she's right. So we come up with this plan. Everybody passes, turn his collar down, right? <laughs> So I'm in the tunnel and I went, all right, big man, oh, yeah. And I've turned the down and I saw you. He went, no, 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 fashion, fashion, right? <laughs> and then the next boys walked by and he, he, they turned the collar down twice in the tunnel. And they, and he so he's spewing there. before he, he even gets it. He was the happy man. <laughs> he joined me in Curran, he kept turning, it was brilliant. And then they attack on. John put his fingers up his nose and he just got up and tried to punch him. <laughs> he gets set off, so we got a good, we got a good draw. <laughs> and at that point, did you. What did you think was going to happen, like move wise? Were no, you just kind of. Kind of listen, it was coming to end of my career. No, I wasn't too bothered about much, but I, I could still have done a job if I'd been in Man City. Aye. You know? um, Aye. But, and it had been good money, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as, it, as it worked out with me. Aye. You know, it was, it was one of them. I went to Hong Kong, that was a laugh. That was a good laugh. How did that come about? I went to, I went to Aston Villa, big Ron Atkinson for me, and I was on a golf course. Uh, and I was, I didn't play golf really at the time, but I was on it, it was a charity thing. And uh, he says, what hole are you at? And, and she's, uh, six, so who's this? And he says, it's Big Ron. He says, get to nine and get your ass up to Birmingham. And I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> so, so I'll not be there, but he told me, because I was free for West Ham, was on the right. free. And uh, he told me that he wanted to sign Dean Saunders. Right. Because he had a lot of money and the fans needed to see the club at Aston Villa spend money. Mm -hmm. He said, but... But when you, when you, you know, basically what he's saying is if, if I was costing money, he'd have seen me. Right. So, and I said, ah, okay. So we don't know if we're going to get him. So I said, right, so he got me fit. I mean, honestly, giving this boy to train me. Mm -hmm. I was pulling balloons and tires and all that right. across the grass, you know, with Aye. parachutes. Aye. I got me really fit. And big deal in Atkinson, God rest him, boy. I was playing with their boys and John and with the Blissett and all that. Right. Brilliant. Aye. The boy done his training in Brazil or something. The, the coach, one of the right. coaches, had the Zamba music and all that up right. He's going dancing. I'm going, oh, boy, you know, you feel like, yeah, I'm from Milton. You know, I'm going, like, Dan Daly, Daly and Axe, and John Daly, and that come here. And Luther, the big black boys that come here, and they were all getting, all getting rid of them, and I'm like, oh. but it was good laugh. We all had a, we had a dance, and, and that was to get your muscles and all that. And it was brilliant how he done it, but he got me really fit, he got me in the team, and then they actually signed Dean. Right. And I'd played, scored one, made one, and then he signed Dean. And Ron says, look, I'm going to offer you a contract anyway. I said, Gaffer, I said, I'm not sitting on the bench for Dean. Right. And she says, there's not a chance. Right. So I went to Hong Kong, they offered me decent money. Right. I went there, there. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was good fun. I enjoyed it. But that wasn't for me. I knew I had to come back. Ah, uh, it was at a different standard. I, I, just I, totally. They didn't, they, they never blamed bad performance on drink. Right. Which wasn't very good for me. That <laughs> <laughs> didn't really matter. Like, really? So it was, uh, aye. and it was good because the wee, wee guy was a triad or something right. like because he'd done his bouncers and that. And he owned the club and, and he'd done his horses and he'd never met anyone of me before. I was right. there. After they, they were opening a golf range, see where you train. Aye. It's like a golf range, right? right? There's three levels and they were opening another one. Mm -hmm. So we had to go to the opening. Right. But it's, this is you train at eight in the morning or to ten or four to six, right? And if because of the heat and all that, right? Mm -hmm. So, but if you didn't get off that pitch for ten o'clock, the golf boss flew out of your head because they were there. Oh, well, they were just starting. As soon as, as, soon as ten o'clock, the net fell, right? And they were smashing boys, and it didn't matter if you were out or no. <laughs> you know, you had to leave. You had to leave the the cones out there and all that because <laughs> if you didn't get up, well, it was incredible. <laughs> so what it done was we're up there, and I'm pissed. And, and uh, I went down sat on his knee and the wee guys would be bouncers like that. <laughs> wee man, you, you own horses and that. So he owned all these horses. Right. He gave me four horses and three of them won and one get beaten a four finish. So it was brilliant, you know. So I don't pay him like I'm a bit, a bit, a bit on him. So, but it was, uh, it was him that I kept. He, he was, he, he's never met, never had anyone approach him. Aye. So I got to know him and, uh, and then we went to another place. I had to get a ferry and that. And it was uh, Glen Chad. And it was great, and and I said to him, "I'm not signing," you know, because right. and he says, "Oh, we go now then," because mm -hmm. they're all but saving face, Aye. you know. So Aye. they came back and they said to me, "Got me, got me now." I said, "No, I said the standards, just, you know." 
And he gave me money, gave me an envelope to leave. And, <laughs> so that was it. That was brilliant. And I left, so. And when you came back then, who did you come back to? Came back to Sam Stissel. Right. Oh, aye. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, they John Lambie? Was it John Lambie? They couldn't sign me because I never paid, I never paid my £200 phone bill. Right. And they tell, now the guy gave me some thousands to leave. Right. But he's the owner. The club actually run the club, mm -hmm. you know, the people, and they weren't releasing my registration until I paid the £200 that they paid. So I'm thinking, well, they gave me all these money, all these thousands, Aye. I don't think to, it was one name. So John, and it's not like day you can just pick up the phone and transfer it. Aye. Um, so John says, what we're saying tonight, but he still went ahead of the forties. And I was in the center circle and made his phone rang. It was the big brick, you know, about like, oh, <laughs> John Dog Jolly, you know, oh, oh, <laughs> that name. So he's, and he says, um, the brain, I says, I'll tell Chippy, I'll phone him because I'm from him. I want a number off me. Mm -hmm. He says, he want to talk to you. So he says, have you no signs yet? He says, Paul says, you've no signs yet? I says, nah. He says, where are you? I says, I'm in the centre circle. <laughs> so why are you whispering? I says, come, God, he's photographers in front of me. And like, he says, you want to come back to Celtic? I was like, eh. He's <laughs> like, and I'd be stupid ass. I turned around thinking they couldn't hear me. And all that. <laughs> I'm like, he's got, why are you whispering? I said, I've got 30 photographers in front of me. And, BBC and all that. <laughs> he says, Do you want to come back? I says, aye. So when I went to Celtic Park, we negotiated and I got some money. To go right. And How did John Lambie take it? Eh, <laughs> no, took it. He wanted to sue me. He wasn't happy with me. I can imagine. But they'd, and my, my agent was writing in the, con in the contract was going to be if a bigger club comes in. Right. They were really me. Aye. Then it's better happen so quick. Aye, come in you on know, the centre circle. Without kicking the ball, you know, it was, uh, <laughs> it was my great. So that was it, they tried to assume. And it, we went there just before Christmas and never even mentioned me. They ran through the team and just blanked me. Oh, did they? Number eight, Stuart Slater, number 10, Tommy Coyne. It just <laughs> fucking blanked me and it was brilliant. We'd like, and he said that Tannoy, we'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas except Frank McAvery and Paul McMurdo. That was it. And happy new year, not that brilliant. <laughs> I know it was a shame we beat him one hand and I scored, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's actually just... a penalty, I don't take penalties. Like geezer? Ah, yeah, seriously, later right on, he went, Oh, cheers, Mark. I went, No, this son. <laughs> no, dear. I, I used my seniority. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What, what, was your, what was your best period as a player? Where did you feel two you years, had your. Two years, I had two, two wonderful years, one at Celtic and one at. West Ham Aye. that I, I never thought was going to without a goal mm -hmm. Celtic I, I was mere I was mere uh, and I'd done the same at West Ham for Tony Cotty I made a lot of goals for Andy Aye. but I didn't mind that I didn't mind doing the work mm -hmm. you know it's if I'm going through and go I draw the keeper out and I get Andy or Tony Aye. They go through and go, I go for the rebound because they're not passing it. Mm -hmm. So they're just out and out strikers. Aye. Suppose because I played so much, so long in midfield, I knew what it was like. So Aye. if somebody ran by me, I'd fall in for them. Aye. You know, and mm -hmm. I, was, I was a team. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was, that's the greatest thing for me. I, the biggest thing for me is that none of my teammates ever said, had a go at me about anything. Aye. You know, and the managers, press circulating. Mm -hmm. You know, but I never let my teammates down. Ever, Aye. ever. So, you know, in that respect, that's, that's all I care about. And I suppose it's that that whole thing of your teammates just want the effort, don't you? If oh, it's not going well, they just want I the chase everything and right. you know, I wouldn't let them down. You know, Aye. they knew I was ready. I was never, mm -hmm. never no ready for a game. Mm -hmm. You know, I was I was young and I was fit. Aye. Yeah. So it was uh, it was good. I could chance to go to Italy and all that, and I never wanted. To. I just wanted no. Who do, who would you who could you have went to? I don't know. I could have went to Milan and Juventus, but they didn't want me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you know fancy playing out there, no? Aye, there was a couple of teams, but it was Barry and sort of another one. Right. Um, your own or something. Just know for you at the time, just know. I was enjoying London. Right. You know, I was. Right. And I, to be honest, once I got there, my teammates, my teammates were great. And, mm -hmm. and I love life in London, you know, you right. can go and nobody bothers you. Mm -hmm. You know, I go into a club and Rod Stewart and Elton John sitting there, George Michael, no bother me. Aye. So, you know, it was great and that was it, that was it, that was it, the clubs I was going to, you know, it was, 
Well, private lounges and all that was brilliant. You must have had times you're like, I'm a wee guy from Milton. <laughs> and I'm sitting here. I couldn't believe it. You know, it was it was great. Got my mates down for the ball. All my mates come down. Stephen Murray and I used to play at Celtic and John Viola, the agent, you know, they all come down. I couldn't believe it. Taking Murray's parties and all that was brilliant. <laughs> Elton John had a party at the hotel and all that. And I'm like, been from Milton, you know, it's like some just <laughs> in on the parts, a huge suite. It was like the size of my street, right? You know, and it was, um, it was just incredible. <laughs> Man, it was good, good fun. <laughs> All he wanted to do is talk about football. Elton, that's mental, isn't it? You think about it? Talk about football. Well, he was a big Watford, aye, chairman. Like, it was so we had a lot in common. Me and Moe, love more. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it was good. Were you running about more when he signed? Aye, aye. I mean, we knew, I, I heard about it. I heard there was a chance when I, I went to, we went to Moses in, in France mm -hmm. and it was uh, Simple Minds were playing at Nantes Stadium. Right. So we all went there mm -hmm. and we know Charlie and Jim. Mm -hmm. So we all went there and, and went to a concert and we were in the middle and that, Jim he gave us a champagne and that. And we all went back to Moses for a party after mm -hmm. it. It was great and that's when we heard something was wrong. But we just brushed it off. It, uh, did you think it was no chance? Yeah. Jim had the bet with him, never paid him. <laughs> <laughs> right, never paid him any sign. Fuck off, he says. Right. See when it actually hurt me, you're like, wow. I knew, I knew, you know, it was, mm -hmm. I knew it was, uh, I knew how big it was going to be, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I knew how big it was going to be. So, and that's what I'm saying. I, I couldn't do it because, you know, my dad would have been, my family would have got pills. Uh, you know, I just couldn't. I suppose you must have seen all that yeah. happening and uh, that, that would have been you uh, if it was I, the I, same. I'm glad I, I made the right. Well, I'm, a, I'm a mountain boy, so I knew. And, but Mo was there. Costi, I don't think he was his Costi's family. I don't know. I don't know if his Costi's family is what I was. You know, and I can have, I can have my dad and my put through that, you know? No. No, it's just totally. Because you get idiots. I mean, no disrespect to Celtic and Rangers supporters. You get idiots on both sides. Oh, 100%. You know, it's, it's, um, and it just takes one. But more, more can I come back here now? Aye. Know? Aye. You know? And there's still people that talk about it. Oh, God, I know. And it just takes one. If more come out, ah, you know, if you come out and we went out, we mm. used to go out and I used to, Toss a coin to see if I paid the rent or no. Bottle of champagne. There you go. Toss. Many you are three months. <laughs> okay, so it was brilliant. Very seldom paid the rent. It was great. Did you see like back then? Obviously, there was a lot of friendships between yourselves and the Rangers boys. Was it was it a hassle going out of that, or was it? No, for was me, it I fine? Didn't care. Aye. Everyone else thought it was. I, I couldn't give a monkey's. Aye. You know, it never bothered me. Mm -hmm. I went where I wanted, Aye. you know, and didn't. It was all easier because I knew a lot of people in Glasgow and people Aye. were all right with me, mm -hmm. you know, so. Um, and that didn't bother me. Aye. I never, you know, I was walking down the street once to Coyce and we did my rap for him, but all that, and then when he could tell the sales about, man, can we do my rap on You carry on. <laughs> carry on, you know, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was good laugh, it was good fun. And now we were all pals, we were all, Aye. we were all. You know, we were all good pals, and you know, we just got to Buzzy Wears. I think it was all when I signed for Celtic, second time I went to Buzzy Wears, and of course, you know, all the Rangers boys were in, and so were the Celtic boys. And me, Joe Mallard, phoned to see I'd signed, and mm -hmm. met up with him, and all the boys were there. And of course, he's like, Welcome back to Glasgow, and that. And she chose at the bar, and I went out of the bar, and he was Gary Stevens that was mm -hmm. leaning out of top of him, right. And I went, Gary, if you'd have got that close to him in the cup final, we wouldn't have scored. <laughs> well, you can imagine all the boys just, well, fuck it, this is what we missed. So, I mean, I mean, Coyce just love bouncing off each other. I was going to say, the, the two of you must just aye, fly back aye, and forward. We, it's good fun. We part good fun, aye. We go in, you can't beat him. can't beat him. Now, you, no matter what you say, he'll come back to you. Aye, he's always got aye, something. Aye, aye. Good boy. And, uh, do you find it mental seeing him now doing the commentary and all that on? Oh, it's brilliant. It's some brilliant. of the part he comes out with is I unbelievable. No, I don't. It's, I don't know how he gets. I don't know how he keeps it because <laughs> he's like me, you know. I I, I look at people and I, I know he had people on, you know, and I look at people and I go, "What is it?" I, I was speaking to Coyce, you know, just after we played football, and we're having a bit of coffee, and, I, and we're talking to only Coyle, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm saying, "What is all this shape?" Mm -hmm. Never done that. And it's Aye. basically, you've got to show people where to play. Aye. And I'm going, so if you buy a right back, you've got to show them where to play. Aye. And that's today's, that's today's game. Aye. And if you don't show them, and if they get beat, they'll blame you for not being shape. And I'm saying, 
they wouldn't be my team. I couldn't no. be. Well, you look at subs coming on now. They've got like an iPad. They've got. If you're a striker, go and play up front. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. People say to me, do, do you not want to a strike? Striking coach. Aye. Now, when you kind of teach a striker, it's instinct, isn't it? It's instinct. Aye. I mean, McCoy's was not as quick as me. Good goals for mm -hmm. fun because Kate would drop one, he'd be there. Aye. You know, Aye. that's an instinct. Mm -hmm. But you, you just can't kind of, kind of teach. No. And you can teach them how to make runs and, and cross over and mm -hmm. get a hold of them and, you know, bluff it and all that. You can Aye. teach all that. But, and, and as, as, as Alice said, you know, I was quickest, but. All you have to do is be a defender or a yard. Aye. That's what, you, that's what Aye. you quite said. And it's so true. We use both of that thing as well. Mm -hmm. Of if you missed a chance, you'll be back for another one oh, right away. We just away. laugh about it. We just, we just laugh. You missed a chance. Aye. Because if you, if you let it bother you, you'll miss the next one. Aye. But you, you know? see some strikers miss one and the heat oh, goes. I know. You, you can see them running about and you're like, they're still thinking about that. Can you imagine, man, we, were playing, we were playing for a couple of thousand. Aye. Which was great money. Aye. But the day's money, 200 grand, not at their own. I'd be going, who cares if you must? You know, <laughs> you've got 200 grand in the bank this week, then I'd 200 grand next week. What's the matter with you? Go and score a goal. You know, Aye. it's, I just don't understand. They think they've got the world on their shoulder and they're, they don't, you can't kick them now. You can't kick defeat. No. Always now. You're not allowed to tackle. No. So these boys are going to enjoy their money and fair play to them. Aye. You know, I don't care, but put a bit of effort in. Aye. You know, that's all I want. That's all I want. See boys running. You know, you see that, you know, I'd run through a brick wall for him. Well, we'll do it. Aye. You know, don't keep saying. Mm -hmm. You know, go and do it. Would you have enjoyed playing in this? Aye. If you couldn't kick me, my God. <laughs> oh, God it would have been great. It would have been it? a breeze, wouldn't it? Oh, it would have been. A, I mean, that's what I say. I mean, I say about Messi and Maradona, and people say that Maradona, for me, is the best. Can you imagine Maradona playing now when nobody can kick him? Oh. You know, I mean, I know people try and kill Messi, but even Messi says, no matter... He could play his 70s, still winning match right. Maradona because he was a genius. Absolutely. But Maradona as well, it's just pure skill. Oh, it's just... Brilliant. You see that thing because it was on social media, he's, tr he's warming up. Oh, when he's but in Italy. Life is life. Aye. Oh, it's incredible. Isn't it? I mean, it's but it just, looks so I know. simple to him. Do you know what I mean? Always, no, Aye. That's brilliant. He could play with slippers. Who's, who's the best player you played against? Troy, probably. Aye. I was fortunate to play against George as well. George... When he came up to his cameo at Hibs. Oh, Hibs. It was brilliant. We were playing at Love Street. What a, what a place for me to start my career. <laughs> Love Street, that's good, huh? Couldn't make it up, could you? <laughs> and we were, and we're playing against Hibs. And uh, Frank to go says, I'm going to do best. I mean, oh, really? All the best. All the best for that one. <laughs> and, and George has got the ball. And George, you know, it's unbelievable. And he's got the ball. And Mike Dougal's ran at him. And he just seen him. And he dipped his shoulder and put it through his legs. <laughs> Frank just ran off and started shaking on the crowd. He shaked hands on the crowd. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So I was, I was killing myself laughing. People were laughing. We laugh. You're not supposed to laugh. I was killing myself. Some of the things we used to do. I mean, we played against, you know, at Rotterdam. And I'm in midfield and McDougal gets sent off. No, yeah. We came out, on the Tuesday night, we were, we were Training, and we come out. What, there's three big holes in the middle of the, this pitch in the ground, right? Mm -hmm. There's big gates. So you come, we come out one for training, right? And then the two teams come out the middle one. Mm -hmm. At the gates, obviously, the other two were shut, right? And McDougal be sent up, and he's honestly, you know, loved it. He's caning everybody, caning the ref, Croy, crap, <laughs> everybody, all the fans. <laughs> and he's walked down the rank stairs, and I'm in tears because <laughs> I know that gate's shut. <laughs> And everyone's going, what are you laughing at me? <laughs> I, know, I know he's going to come back up. Troy's so, <laughs> looking at me as if I'm stupid. <laughs> and I'm running for the ball and I heard this roar. And I knew that was for me running for the ball. And I turned around, make do it, they creep, creep along the side of the pitch. Absolutely crowd are getting him pelt or something. But he sat down there for about seven minutes or something. <laughs> <laughs> the realisation I'm not getting out of here. Aye, he thought, he thought nobody will notice now. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, man. Aye. Anything you wish you'd done differently, career-wise? No. Yeah, maybe no. I wish I'd I wish I'd get more cards. But do you know what? I'm, people say that about more cards. I only got five, but I was, with, I was up against Kenny. I was up against Graham Sharp, who was a top striker at Everton. Speedy, uh, Mo, mm -hmm. Charlie, uh, Coisty. 
it's some Aye. unbelievable strikers. Mm -hmm. So for me to get five in, in amongst all that was um, pretty good. Play a World yeah. Cup as well. I played a World Cup, so you know it's something that a lot of people kind of see. Hundred percent, mm -hmm. mate. Um, what about also we, we spoke about it a wee bit when you came in before we went in there. Mm -hmm. What would you do? What would you give advice wise for like young guys playing new at 15, 16 based in your kind of listen, you've got to make it. I mean I, I was fascinated when I was what listening and reading about Ronaldo when he, he came to Man United mm -hmm. and he was saying about McTominay and Rashford and that he says. They're more interested in Love Island, but they're in football. Yeah. And I thought, what an indictment that is. That's Aye. a terrible statement. Aye. You know, so they're coming in the morning. I I just, I've seen you about Jimmy Bowen when mm -hmm. I started, and then I went down to, down to West Ham, and it was Alvin Martin and, you know, and, and uh, Billy Bonds. Aye. Just legends. Aye. Teaching, everything's done right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just don't, if I was a young boy, the, the older boys I know, well, I thought Jimmy Boyd was having a go at me. They know that. They Aye. try to help me. They shout at you. You know, they try to help you. Mm -hmm. Just listen to them. Because they've got experience. You know, they've they've done been it. where Aye. you are. And that's that's it. You know, that's the thing. You can't beat experience. And if, if your manager's shouting at you, it doesn't matter if it's he's played football or not. He's, he, he's trying to help you. Aye. You know, and mm -hmm. he's, they're not having that. I used to think everyone's having a go at me and shouting at me. But you realise that well, they're trying to help you because you're mm -hmm. on the one side. Everyone's for the same thing. No, so that's it. The best I'd be mm -hmm. giving a coach. It's that application thing, I suppose, isn't it? It's you know, as I say, I keep saying it, and you know, you can have a bad game, but put if you put a hundred, if you walk, do you know what the best coaching thing I've ever had in my life? John mm -hmm. Lyle, the first game at home, mm -hmm. Upton Park, it was, and uh, there's a big mirror right at the door. Mm -hmm. Before you walk out, John Lyle says, if you can look in that mirror, look in that mirror in a way, and if you can look at it after ninety minutes. And think you've done all right, I'll not have to shout at you. What mm. Because you kind of kid yourself. Aye. Aye. You know yourself. And it was the best. It, it, simple. Aye. Simple as it comes, but. So true, but, isn't it? Oh. It's. Because you don't need a, you you don't don't need need a coach to ball you. you because you know you've no. had a mad game or it's no win you for you. No, but see, see when somebody shouts you. See when I see people losing the ball up front mm -hmm. and nobody says anything to them, I'm like, oh, I'd be screaming at them. Aye. Because it's, it, if you scream at them, they'll not do it next time. Aye. And as you know, I was playing. I played with Tommy Burns, McCarthy, Big Mick, Roy Aiken. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't let me fucking Aye. lose the ball two, two or three Aye. times. You know. Um, Do you think that made you a better player? Though, having them run about you and the Aye. manager, big bully, shouting me and the gaffer. I mean, I just don't get it. We're talking about strikers. We missed a lot. Celtic missed a lot in Europe. Mm -hmm. Chances. Right. I wouldn't get the chances. I do. I'd be a team. Right. You know, if you missed them. Right. You don't get that, mm -hmm. you know. It's it's that job. You know, you you're there to score goals. Aye. And uh, so I'm just, you know, it's great that they're bringing a new striker in because that will push the other two. And Aye. Then so then they'll think, you know, we need to get back together because mm -hmm. I think they're good players. You know, hundred percent. Um, you must watch some of these games, man, and see the chances oh, and be like, I'd put that away. Well, that's, I was talking <laughs> to John Hartson and Big Sutton, right, and we were saying, you know, the problem is we never got that many chances. Aye. No, right. so when you, what would it be like to get the chances? Mm -hmm. You know, I scored a few in Europe, but you didn't get, you sort of create your own. Aye. You don't get blatant chances, you know. Let Maybe the, get the odd one or two. they're creating now. Aye. As in, Aye. You know, so fair play to the, I just come in and just change that. And I like, I like watching it, the passion and all that, mm -hmm. you know, and, I still would like to defend a bit better. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> but that's always something. That's always, always something. He's like, I don't want it. I don't like to teach a defence. I'm like, oh my God, you know. You've got John Kennedy and McManus there. They're both defenders, Aye. you know. Teach a wee bit. Aye. But, but he's done He's done brilliant. He's done brilliant, he's done brilliant for Ralston. Because mm -hmm. I didn't think Ralston had it. And a fair play to him. He proved me wrong, you know. But Aye. it's only because this manager lets him win at midfield and can do with Aye. And I'm thinking, Aye. It's, it's just been a breath of fresh air for Tony. And, and the other boys, you know, Taylor as well. Goes back to what you say, it. but see if a player invests in what the coach is telling you. Oh, it's, it's, this manager's going. That must have been hard for him because he's going down there and he can hit a great ball, but, you know, Juranovic's a great defender. Mm -hmm. um, but when Tony, when Ralph's comes out, he's not got a problem there because he can get in. The Aye. manager, all of a sudden, you see him in midfield. I just wish he'd keep his head up because he's Aye. he deserves to be there. Now, mm -hmm. You know, and I, I wish he would start believing that. 
Aye, you know? that's the difference though. Aye, believe in yourself. Who's Who the best um, manager you played under? Like, well, I probably, I mean, John Lyle was great. John, Aye. We done, we done things in the 80s at West Ham. Right. That they're calling tactics and names now. Aye. You know, high press. Aye. Uh, he was already doing it. done that in the 80s. I mean, it, was, it wasn't the cold man. It was just, when Macca goes, everyone fully. You just don't Aye. let anyone get the ball. And if, if I right back get the ball, left back get the ball, and I went, if I thought I could get it, Tony shot the goalkeeper, because in the days you could pass it by the keeper. Aye. Tony shot the keeper, the midfield pushed up, and then he gave him an out ball. And nine out of ten, you'll see the left back, they'll give me it, Aye. and they'll put it out of the park. But you people know? think Pep and all that brought oh, that kind of stuff into you. Crap, it's called names now, isn't it? <laughs> I, just, I love it. I love it. What as soon as we put, was on me, uh, some female in the, in the uh, and, and she's talking about a low block. And she's going, What's a low block? <laughs> Defending deep, I just call it. Defending. I know that's low block. They've got to come up with names, oh, sort of. Oh, it's embarrassing, and all, but just, just see, as yeah, that's why I was laughing at Graham's face. He's like, What <laughs> <laughs> defend deep? I just call it that, defending deep, you know. <laughs> What was Billy like as a manager? Brilliant. He was good as a manager. He was he was great. Very passionate. Yeah, well, he'd been there and done it as well Aye, for, very for passionate. Celtic, hadn't he? Oh, it was, was magnificent, you know, and he used to find me a lot, but it was good fun. Just for, like, get out and... Ah, I was always late coming to training and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> but it was, it was good fun. It was, uh, aye. It was, uh, it was brilliant. It was just, it was great to me. Aye. It was great to me, because he knew when he put his arm around me and went to give me a kick up the arse. And he was signing a good manager, isn't it? It's... It was good. So him and John Lyle were probably your best. Too. Ricky was got me on that path. Ricky McFarlane, mm -hmm. you know, it's a mum who got me on that path. Put me in under twenty ones. Went to Italy, beat them over there. Beat right. the only Scottish team that's ever won in Italy. We beat them one 0 and I scored. So that yeah, was great. They put us out. He's brilliant. They put us in here. The quarterfinals of the European Championship. Right. They put us in here. The Basque Country. Oh uh, right, okay. We did Cantonzaro or something. We did <laughs> fuck it right. <laughs> But we do there, we went down there. Well, I scored in the bottles and that get chucked in, and they were expecting us to freeze. We were off the mountain in Poso, and all. <laughs> it's a Friday night, isn't it? We were like, <laughs> back. It was, oh, it was brilliant. No, but no, I cannot care in the world. No, it didn't bother us. We, we John McDonald, we solo, and all that. It was brilliant. They knew us were, they knew us were frightened. It was good fun. <laughs> so that was good. It was good to get them. We played England. So that was, that was my start. On, on a big time, so Aye. it was good. To, every, every game, everything helps you. Aye, hundred percent. Off the off the pitch as well. Obviously, you the whole long and excuse stuff as well, which Aye. then stuck with you for years and years. Tony, listen, Tony had to go. Me, I, I, I see that the last couple of years it was pretty bad. I mean, listen, it was, I love what he done with me. It was mm -hmm. brilliant, but I thought a lot. I thought it was tired. Ran its course. It ran Aye. its course. But it was you know Kim John Young and, and Ed Sheeran. Aye. What the hell's that got to do with it? You, know? you know, and he's good that I, I was annoyed that he didn't. See, when Coisey gets sacked mm -hmm. or he get put in garden league, Aye. what sketch that is. Aye. And he never done it. Aye. You know, you can imagine Coisey in the garden. You know, and he would have took it as well. He would have loved it. He would have loved it. And I thought, you know, that's just lazy. You're not doing that. Because that's, it was news, it was headlines, mm -hmm. and it was, uh, he never done it. You know, and I'm thinking, that's just lazy. And then Aye. Kim Jong Young, where can I embrace Mark Lowe? And I'm going, what's that got to do anything? You know, it was just, I thought, it was, you know, Phil Differ wrote everything. But I'm thinking, if you're going to continue, get fresh writers and, Aye. you know, people with different ideas. And because there's a lot, of, still a lot of players out there, you know, you could impersonate. Aye. You know, fucking the canoes of this world. No, you could have done it, Aye. you know, it'd have been good. Did you know he was going to date in the first place when it first? No, it's. I, Somebody told me, yes, but it was 30, I get, it was when Kenny and that was getting done. Aye. It was me, Kenny, uh, Dennis Law, mm -hmm. it was, you know, but God McQueen. Aye. Soon as it was, Aye. it was all the big, and Fergie and all that, it was all the big hitters. Aye. And all of a sudden I'm, I'm thinking, I'm great with that company, you know, <laughs> and it was, and it was just wonderful because, I mean, apparently I had a pub, I had a, no, apparently I had a pub and, and apparently I was, Phil Differ's pal was in the pub. Right. And I came in one afternoon and he was sitting having a beer. And my brother worked behind the bar. Mm -hmm. And I came in, I was doing a, I was doing interviews for a thing I was waiting to do, school dinners. I was waiting right. to open a thing, school dinners. Right. Or the school girls and all that. Anyway, it was good fun where it lasted. And I, I came in and there was a couple of girls there to get an interview. My right. brother says, there's a couple of girls down there. Mm -hmm. Right. says, right, okay. And I had to go back and sign the checks and all that. Do, do things first. And I, and I come out and I says, where's the girls? And that's, He's changed oh, it to me. Right, 
Right. And uh, and that's what he told Phil Differ that. He would he say and he told them and then that's where it came from. You know, where's the blood? So I mean I listen, I loved it all. I loved it. You kinda of make it up. I mean Aye. all the all the stuff he pumped to and all that, no <laughs> yellow work and all that. I mean you probably you know I just everything it makes me laugh, part and ride and all that. And it's, it's, <laughs> You know, and it's good, but I'm thinking if he'd have put as much tension into it, other people as much. Aye, it would aye, be great. aye. You know, but it was, uh, and I was laughing with the uh, uh, thing with Judy Murray. I was with Judy Murray, I'd done a show with Judy Murray, and mm-hmm. I was laughing. I'm going, do you remember? He's going, it was all day we had to do that. They'd done that when they were doing the tennis. Oh, aye, aye, aye. And she's going, yeah, oh, they want to give her a jump to net. And he's going, I don't know what she look like. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, you know, it was just absolutely brilliant. And, uh, I liked it, I liked it all, but as I say, you know, it's just, I thought it got played. Uh, I wasn't yeah. meaning anything personal against Johnny, and Phil, I just thought, she's going to do it, get better right. Aye, uh, shelf life, you know, isn't it? Is... Just, just right Aye. up to date, you know. Aye. It used to be all footballs and Ed Sheeran and a lot of, because a lot of people tell me it's, come Johnny on, what's that got to do with him, you know? No, I totally agree. So, which the, uh, um, I don't know. I don't even know what you're going to ask, Teres. But what's the maddest thing you've read about yourself? Uh, maddest? I don't know. But it's not, but not much. <laughs> there has been that much. Right? Um, Surely you've know. picked up papers and went. Oh, okay, what? No, oh, there's. Um, I can't remember. But there only been that much. Uh, nah, no, 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 no. I just everything's probably been true. But, <laughs> <laughs> <so>. <laughs> <laughs> just go back and see all the ones that lasted ah, one day yeah, like they're through I, I know it's, it's uh, yeah it's it was, uh, there was a couple of girls a couple of girls changed my group the papers have said they were going at me for ages and that was it with them once you know uh, and, uh, right, okay. and it would just the overlap my ex-girlfriend and all that, all that kind of crap it's, you just got, I said to them it may have felt that a couple of months but it was only one night <laughs> That's what do you think? Yeah. How do you think you would have fared now playing with the way social media and all that? I and... don't care what anybody says. The boys still do it. They still have oh, a good time. Aye. So, you know, get out and that nonsense boys don't drink and all that. Well, crap, that is. They just do it a lot more private. Uh, aye. And they've got to be careful. I get I get that. They've got to be careful. Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, but, you know, listen, if I was getting the money they're getting now, aye. I would have looked after myself as well because you didn't, uh, I knew when I got, Finish playing football, I wasn't going to be wealthy enough to. I just, to, just to finish. Finish. So the boys knew, know that. So mm-hmm. they're just, they, they've got plenty of time 35, 36. Aye. You know, enjoy themselves after that. Aye. So I would do it as well because it's it's, it's wonderful. And the money mm-hmm. they're getting, I'm, I'm delighted for them because it used to be the directors that got it. Aye. And um, I'm glad the players are getting it now. 100%. What about the. Um... Obviously, you've, you 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 finished with football. Did you ever fancy coaching or that, or was it ever <laughs> no. ever in your head to do no. it? No, no, no. Somebody said, somebody says I applied. Remember years ago, um, the Arsenal job came up. Somebody says I applied for it, and I got a letter back saying they wanted Arsenal Wenger, no Arsenal about. <laughs> 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 so that was that was money. That was money, people. That was quite really funny. <laughs> Aye, uh, that's that's funny. Aye, did you just never appeal? Nah, no. I done my badges just to annoy Scott the SFA. I done my badges <laughs> in England because they weren't going to let me do it. England wanted to fast track me. Right. They were they were saying look come and Aye. do it and you have to pay for everything up here mm-hmm. and they were saying come and do it and uh, I done my English badges, done my coaching badges. But I done it, it was good. I done it with Leeds. It was at Leeds and um, it was at Leeds kids. And, right. And Nicky Byrne and that was here for right. Westlife. Uh, he was a goalie. Well, he was a decent player, He was right? a goalie, wasn't he? So I got to know him, you know, right. he was there. And, and it was good because I, you do all this show, you've got to tell them how to do it and show them how to mm-hmm. do it. And that was easy. It was easy for me to just ping Aye. boys 40 yards and mm-hmm. all that. And, and the week I was going, I've never seen anyone you know, the team just watching. Because I'd been there and done it. And it's it makes a difference. Aye. But, uh, you know, I just find it hard when I see people that, I mean, it's the only industry. My, my missus keeps saying to me, mm-hmm. get a job, become a manager, mm-hmm. and get a good job, and then get sacked, and then we'll go and live in the Caribbean. Aye. I'm like, hey, okay, that's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm a bit too old for that now, but that's what I should have done. I should have done that. It's the only job in the world, any history of, 
of jobs that you get paid for failure. Aye. I mean, it's I it's had this incredible. conversation this morning because it's incredible. I'm a Rangers fan, and mm -hmm. obviously, Gio's walked away with two, three million in the bank for David Moyes a year. Aye, twelve <laughs> million for Man United. Aye. I was laughing because he's a ginger and he can't even enjoy the sun. I said, "You can't even go and lie on a beach." <laughs> he's like, "That's uh, you know, I love. I would just love. I'd go. I'd love to manage the Caribbean. I'd go to Antigua and I'd manage him. I would love to manage and put my team. Just stay on the sun." Just living it, just live there. Right. Just here's an apartment, and just live there. My <laughs> missus sell hussies and all that. <laughs> it's good. We're taking a credit, Paul, if you get the Antigua job. Right, okay. It's honest, by the way. No, I'd love to do that out there because right. they, I'll tell you for why. Because out here, there's a lot of the boys they're just full of nonsense. Right. Out there, you know, I went to see a couple of the games and, and they're dying to learn. Just love football. They love football. Right. They just love it. And it's the old fashioned football there. Mm -hmm. You know, but they allowed to tackle, right. you know, and they got up and got on with it and mm -hmm. bust themselves down. And, and I thought, you know, and it's a camaraderie, you see them all. And I thought, you know, I'd love to do that. Aye. It would be, yeah, it would be, be good, you know. Aye. I remember Bobby Williamson went to, to he went to Ghana or somewhere. Right. You know, that, right? And, uh, and you know, he hated, the referees hated the ball. <laughs> and we were talking, I was, I was way well young, and uh, they were talking to him and he went, very gun and the boy Kenny Clark says, I wonder what they'll make you. <laughs> Bobby Williamson and Bob Willie says, Fucking soup, I hope. He used to terrorise the referees. So he? angry about it, wasn't he? <clears throat> Great wind up. Aye. Oh, what a wind up merchant he has. You don't know if he's, if he's seen Aye. it. So I, but he's, he's been good for every time I get it, so we always find milk, wind milk. So good. <laughs> Okay, he just appears the last person you expect you laugh. <laughs> All right, he's a good lad. <laughs> Frank, this has been brilliant, mate. Oh, Absolutely worries. tremendous. I, know, I could talk all day, can we? I know. Mm. And if I, I see the Antigua job coming up, then right. I'll expect the application to go in. I'll get a ticket. We'll be, be a coaching team, uh, Paul. Probably, come here. Don't be get the much, documentary. If my car can do it, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. Appreciate Cheers. it. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. <laughs>